Hi, <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, week 20, our restaurant road trip. We're at the old school deli here in Roseville, man. We're here. We're going to eat. We're getting some biscuits and gravy, Ryan. This is old school. Steve already came out and talked to us. We're gonna eat a lot of food today. <laughs> you guys ready? This is the place when you're really hungry. We got this sign. Steve already asked if you had your A and your B game on. Yep, I'm ready. You ready, Logan? I'm ready. You ready? I think so. You ready? I think so. He's kind of nervous. We're gonna go in and eat the hell out of this. This is my buddy Steve. We're here. This is the guy you heard on the radio. <laughs> you're quite the character, man. Gotta have fun. Absolutely. So now, how many years for old school deli? Seven full. Seven full years? Yeah. What brought this on? Whose idea was this to, to, to do this? It's always been a passion okay. uh, of mine, a uh, midlife crisis. At, uh, That's what I was asking. Were you in the restaurant industry? No. or? No, no, Come no, on. No. Seriously. Yeah. Okay, so who's I, whose biscuits and gravy are we having today? Because that's our first thing. Well, I'm going to tell you, it's a knockoff. When I was living out in Vegas, going to school there, okay, I uh, there's a little casino that had the best biscuits and gravy, okay, and I loved the, the gravy so much, and they would never give me the recipe. So <laughs> I spent a couple weeks in the kitchen, trial and error, and got it as close as I could to them, and that's what we run. Hey with. man, that's what we do, and this place is so cool. Just spent over there, Ryan, and get the fig, the fig of pop machine. Oh my God, Thanks. dude. 1972. 1972 for that machine. And, and you guys, and you were saying like, just a, this is a this is a diner. This is what I want. This is my joint. This is where you come and hang out. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Ryan, are you hungry now? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was kind of hedging there. All right. So we're gonna eat yeah. old school deli here. The guy in the Harley's gonna he's coming back. You got some characters coming here, man. Oh, just wait. I love this. All right. <laughs> Jeff, don't go reaching for our food now. All right. There it is. Steve's Ooh. leaning in. You want biscuits and gravy? Well, oh, I've leaned in enough over the years. I don't need to do that anymore. Yeah, that's plenty. Okay. There All right. Got it. Did you get? Okay. We're rolling. We're here. We've been rolling. All right. We're here, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the uh, old school deli here. We're in Roseville. Rockin' Roseville, right? Yes. There's the menu right there. Steve's watching us off camera. You Okay. These are the biscuits and gravy we were talking about. The, not what you were telling us about. You guys were telling us about. All right, first things first. All right. Right? Damn that I'm gravy. talking to Steve, we're talking to you guys too. When we first started talking about going to get biscuits and gravy, Ryan kind of went a little, yeah, it sounds okay. <laughs> I don't think you've ever really had good biscuits and gravy. No. No. No, I'm serious. I don't think I've ever had them outside of my mom making them. Okay. Be honest with you. Are, is your mom going to be PO that we're? No, Liz. it's fine. These smoke cool. you, ma. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, you got just got your ass kicked up <laughs> by the deli here in Roseville. <laughs> Homemade biscuits, right? Yes. Oh, the gravy. This is so good. And just the here's one of the full biscuits. Hold, Look at that. hold, hold on. I'm gonna strap to the help. No, I no, that's the thing about them. Though. That's they got some I mean. density. They're dense, but they're still. And our buddy at Chow will point this out. What's the point of having a biscuit if the gravy just like falls off it? It's got to be able to soak it up a little bit, right? Oh man. All day. You've got to have people come in and get this every day. Well, we run out. You run out. They get mad and they leave. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I know Jeff's sitting over there eyeballing us. Did you get some, Jeff? Not yet. Not yet? Oh, he's waiting. <laughs> he's waiting okay. for I it. promise. That may look like it, but we won't eat it all. Those are cat heads. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you go. Cat head biscuits? Yeah, man. Big as your head. <laughs> All right. So we're good on the on the biscuits and gravy. Yep. Thumbs this up to these. This is everything they talked about. This is everything they talked about. This could be the best biscuits and gravy. Well, as far as Detroit goes, I've had nothing's even close to this. Nothing. Thank you. It's got flavor to it, too. It's not just flour and sausage. You know what I, I mean? I was going like, to say another thing that I'm going to get yelled at for, but at my mom's, I always got to put some pepper and salt in the gravy. This, you don't have to touch it. I might just eat it like it's soup. Be keep talking, because I'm eating. I don't know. You just keep talking. We got more stuff we're doing, man, but we're here at Old School Deli here in Roseville. We'll be back. We got more. The business is great. Keep talking. I mean, <laughs> we're back here. Round two of 87 rounds today? I think so. Is that right, I was looking Steve? at the sheet Steve's got over there. Yeah, that. my God. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Eggs Benny, too? Yes, sir. Okay. Ooh. These are their, their hash browns. They're home fries. Hand these are homemade every day. Correct. Okay. Look at this. Jiggle. <laughs> Here's the deal. Let me get that in there. 
Here's the deal with home fries. When if you try these at home, right? I want ten plates of these right now. Okay. Oh, all See, day. The thing is, you go out to breakfast. You go. Can I get uh, hash browns? Well done, please. Make them crispier, and they come out, and they're not. Right. The crunch in these. Oh, still on the flat awesome. top, right? Well, we kick them around on the floor a little bit first to give them that color. <laughs> Man, that's all right. She said they put them on the floor, and then they do them on the flat top. So that's kind of a little, it's a rosebud thing. It off, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we said old school. We're legit, man. Here, uh, I got to get up to show this. This is beautiful looking. You guys make the English muffins, too. Yes. Grandma's oh, yeah. recipe. Who the hell does that? Look at the, Who look makes the English air. muffins? Look at the air. All right. Now... I'm going into this. Get it. And the holiday sauce oh. didn't separate. See, I know that. I don't know much, but I know that. It's not supposed to separate. I don't know what it is. You get into it? Yeah, I'm gonna take a huge bite. You really you're in a you're in your happy place right now, yeah. aren't you? Yep, I like this kind of stuff. Ryan is very, very happy right now. Here we go. Get it. Good lord. You're right there, T Rex? Charlene, just stop. Well, what is he doing? <laughs> Ryan, right? Yep. This is your stuff. Thank stuff right there. Thank you very much. He's got we, got more more coming. Coming. we have more coming? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold Try on. that. Honey, do you want to take your gravy, too? Huh? <laughs> yes, please. Absolutely. Put it right here. Look at her. There you go. I will Ma'am. fix right. it up for yeah. you. That's Charlene. She's awesome, too. That ham on there is awesome. Where's the ham? Where's the ham from? Can we say? Just local supplies. Just local ham. We don't yeah. want to give away all their secrets there at Old School Deli. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That is so good. Everything so far. So Where's done... that corner booth that we were talking about? Oh, there it is. I need... Yep, that's where I'm going to be snapping. You want to take the pineapple <laughs> they gave you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hold on. After this, we may be doing... <laughs> <laughs> but what happens at Old School stays at Old School. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, we'll be back with more. All right, we were just talking to Steve here. We're, we're at Old School Deli here, week 20 of our restaurant road trip. This is the Batman and Robin. Because you were watching Batman and Robin, right? At the time. Okay. Necessity is the mother of all invention. You, you go with what you got. We talked about that in the air, right? Yep. This is peanut butter and jelly and salami. Are you Have cool you with this? Got to be grape jelly, though. Got to be grape jelly. Got to be grape. And then it doesn't work. Grape jelly, peanut butter, salami. We have really broadened Ryan's food rights. Oh, yeah. Right? A ton. A hundred percent. The Batman and Robin. You ready? Let's do it. All right. That is I don't good. know how, but that works. How does that work? This is this whole sweet and savory thing that everybody does. You know what? 40 years ago. Right? Yeah, a little more, but yeah. Yeah, a little more now. You know what this tastes a little bit like to me, too? Mm -hmm. And it's weird because it's just the peanut butter aspect of it, I think. But me and my brother as a kid used to take American cheese and spread peanut butter over top of it. And then just eat the American cheese like that. And it's got that kind of similar taste. Man, is this, this is good. I think I found my new uh, lunch sandwich at home. Is this it? <laughs> yeah. This totally works. All right. Is this round four? This, yeah, round four. Round four. Oh, right. I think round five's coming. Maybe round five. It's a ruler. That's our ruler, gentlemen. Okay, this is the ruler. This is the corned beef. Damn. We still, the problem is we're going to keep eating Here's the last thing. Here's the thing, thing. too. You mm. make this for somebody and totally freak them out. They're not going to want to try it. Salami on peanut butter and jelly, what are you talking about? And then you get them to try it, and then the next thing you know, you're going to be making this all the time. This is go. the ruler. That's the ruler. All right. And I know where you get your corned beef from. Yes, sir. Yeah. This is legit Detroit corned beef. If you know, you know. Coleslaw, do you make the coleslaw? Yeah, it's house made. Show off. No, all right, here we go. I think that's the common theme, house made. This is my wheelhouse right here, corned beef. Oh, yeah. Want to carry out? Yes. Please. All right, I'll give you a menu. Hold on one second, All please. Right. Sometimes when you get corned beef, it's like you're having a tug of war with it. <laughs> it's not cooked all the way through, or whatever it is. It's melting. Right. It's melting in your mouth. Mm -hmm. 
you guys probably put this on the flat top a little bit, a little bit of a crisp on it. A little bit of a steam. A little bit of steam, a steam on it. Yeah, it just, it's, this is, that really you've does. seen this sandwich a lot of places here in the Motor City, well, all over the place. But to do it right takes time and to know what you're doing. Wow. Right? That's good. Yeah. yeah. This is phase five. Again, it was good knowing you because we're going to be here for the next couple weeks doing the show. <laughs> Doors are open. Yep. Guys. Doors are open. Doors are open, man. Blankets are open. I should have brought my camper. <laughs> we got more. Got more. We got more coming. We got more coming. We're, we're at Old School Deli. Wait, Don't you this way, you reach fine. in after those fries. You make them back with a <laughs> no, or something. Good. I'm careful with him. You can put them in your box if you like. You put them in his pocket. He's going to take it home. <laughs> Boxes in there. There's a little oh, yeah, all right. This is old school. Them. That's perfect. When we say old school, we mean old school. We talk more now, but we're going to go eat some more. You want to have another bite? Oh, yeah. I'm going to be sleeping in the car, man. <laughs> this is awesome. Be right back. Round six. Just, just throwing plates at us now. I know, yeah. really, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, let me cut this in half. So By the way, we want to say hi to our sponsor, Lipitor. <laughs> oh, God. We're here at the old school deli. This is the bad boy, right? Bad boy. Okay. Hurry up. Hurry up. Look at that thing. There's turkey on there. We got roast beef and corned beef as well, right? Ooh. Yes. This is inspired. This is an inspiration. <laughs> what you doing there, Predator? <laughs> you ever seen a dude eat like this? It's unreal, man. We go to everyone thinks because I'm the big giant guy that I'm the one who's going to just kill myself on all this food. No, no. It's, it's going. Always, to, it's, it's always the little guy. Yeah, it's going to, exactly. It's going out to eat with a Velociraptor every week, man. I've got two hands. I don't know how. That's my brother. The same size as him. Just put it away, man. What do you think? Really good. What's what's all on this again? The meats, Steve. You got turkey, corned beef, pastrami. 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 That's the house smoke pastrami. Okay. Oh, I can. Cause I'm like, is this pulled pork on there? But the pastrami, the smoke in it, man. Wow. That's the key. Yeah. Let me see. And then, yeah, that's right here. I don't know. You're like, go, go watch them eat some more. The smoke on it, though. That thing hits you that first bite. That's almost like a sauce. I don't mean that in a good way. The smoke, it has such a different You're flavor right. to it. I That's love. a good one. Pastrami. Good one. It's bad boys, man. Do you want me to call Rick Mahorn, see if he'll come over and try it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He'll, he'll have a three, four-letter word for you, Jim. Rick doesn't like it when we call him. <laughs> he'll help out with the radio station. What do you want? It. Yeah, what do you want? And then leave me alone. And then he hangs up. But why? It's the same way. It's weird. Oh, boy. You are killing that. I don't know if I can ever come here again just for the fact that I'm not going to know what well, to do. Well, don't get. say that while we're sitting here. No, I'm going to, obviously. Yeah. I just mean I'm going to go uh, one of everything again. If you get a diet, so, if you get a diet pop, you're fine. Yeah. If you get a diet coke, Evens you're fine. It, out. it balances all up. It's got coleslaw on it. It's a salad. You're yeah. eating healthy. You're fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. More from the uh, old school deli here in Roseville. Do you guys have, like, dollies to roll us out to our cars? Wheelchairs. Okay, wheelchairs. <laughs> wheelchairs are good. Wheelchairs are good. You good there, T-Rex? Oh, yeah. Good Lord. <laughs> all right, one more round here at uh, old school deli oh, here. Wow. Big Jim, there's Ryan Logan. You okay? Yeah. You get the meat sweats after that sandwich? I'm getting there. Okay. They do specials here, too. You can kind of see with the gumbo. Yeah, let me get up. I'll, I'll bring it up. up. I'll bring it up to show it. How about that? All right, here's the deal. When someone, you're, you're at a diner and some guy goes, hey, we did gumbo and stuff. You're like, oh, cute, cool. It'll be rice and whatever, right? Yeah. Good. I'm waiting for my oh, spoon. Jim, you got to share that with them a little bit. I, I ate my last spoon, so. <laughs> Fine, I'll use this. <laughs> get that, I get this, I get that. Nice okay, you know. did you go to New Orleans or something? Never been. Never been? Never been. When you're doing this, right? Mm -hmm. You've been to New Orleans. My friend Shane and Sherelle live in Johnson Bayou, Louisiana. This is good. This is good stuff. Don't tell your mama. That town, that, that town in Louisiana, like, is so small that welcome to and, and leaving is the same sign. <laughs> yeah, seriously, man. Johnson Bayou, look it up. Man, that's good. That sausage. 
sausage. I even said it. Look at that sausage, do now. Woo. Chate Bécouillon, man. I'll tell you this much. I had a gumbo legit, hey. Was that good? I did all right? I right, told you, man. Yeah. And this is just a special you guys are messing around with? Yep. Once in a while, we'll run it. All right. This is the old school deli here in Roseville. And again, thanks to everybody. Thanks to Steve. Amanda, thanks. Um, our lovely waitress. Darlene. 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 Darlene, you're awesome. She's really the boss around here. Steve's like, oh, I'm in charge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We kind of know that thing. Yeah. Did you have fun? Oh, this place is awesome. Watch this. Stop. Don't touch Boop. me. Ugh. No, I'm Good kidding. Lord. Okay. It's great. Right, man. Everybody for the Restaurant Road Trips, thanks so much for watching these. Uh, keyword trip, if you're watching the video now, you can text the radio station and do that. I finally figured out the Google Map thing, so I'll have all the locations on there as well. So you can follow it. Is this that is pastrami? pastrami from earlier. Look at that. Smoked pastrami. Which we should have legalized smoking pastrami before weed in Michigan, right? On the way, it is legal. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, good. Just so you guys know, that's the only restaurant in Macomb County for sure that does that on site. Okay, so he just told us he's the only restaurant in Macomb County that does that on site. On, the, on site. You gotta come and try it. Oh, you gotta get some of the gumbo, do that, huh? <laughs> All right. I'll tell you what, you'd be kicking. This food's driving me crazy now. I'd, I'd be kicking football for the football team and drinking H2O. H2 high quality H2O. <laughs> hey, right, high quality H2O. Oh, boy. Put me in the game. I'm spitting rice. <laughs> Spin rice. We're done. We're done. <laughs> Nap time.